Fantastic has to come through, and it's already a nice 4v4 scrap. There they are. Saw cast at the bottom of the back of the site. Wall goes up, Hoodie looking to commit to the plant already, looking to stick it, has to come off to reposition. Sends himself a little wider, Soul Cast prowling around, spotting a gap and able to take the first kill for himself into the retake. Team Liquid still down a player even with that frog though, and now G2 in still a pretty solid position, having the spike down into the post plant. Don't have those Sage Walls to rely on to try and protect this plant so it's out in the open. G2 exploited this the last time they faced up against each other. It seems that they're exploiting it again now. Now oh, on the Vero's done well. Yuka's gone down and now it's Lincoln Navarro left Play alone standing. trying to pull this one through. And just Navarro now, headhunter in hand, time ticking. And G2 know they have this pistol in their back pocket. They're looking for the peak. Navarro gets out of dodge, a little magic trick in the click of his fingers. A disappearing act as he slips. Opportunities here for Team Liquid to be a bit cheesy inside of them. Navarro does get picked out as first blood of the round. Meadow to claim it. And Hoodie once again committing to the plant. Really getting close now to that resurrect. Scream has decapitated Meadow though, so those numbers are now back to a 4v4. That wall's about to break open, and we're about to see Team Liquid challenge for the retake attempt. Smoke goes out, bit of a gap here to play with. Yamp, he goes jumping around the corner, he leaps, but to his death, Soulcast tries to follow up for two, and now Scream in the midst of it all. It's one for him, and that's it. And Team Liquid will not be able to take one in these four spy attempts. It is G2 now with three and zero. Even once more, Rez that Hoodie's been farming with those plants over and over finally comes into play. Evova back up to his feet. Mixwell no longer has feet as he has dropped out of the round. So 4v4 again. Scream. Oh, really sneaky play from Scream. He gets on the other side of the toxic screen. It's four so far. He's taken down and he's looking for even more here. He's not afraid, is he? No, he really isn't. Just Hoodie left. And Scream's hunting him down. He wants everything. Hoodie's behind the wall. Scream's climbing up on top. Unrelenting Scream just does not care. I can't express how difficult this is, but with that Viper's pit up, it does give them a fighting chance. Recon bot goes into it to try and claim some information. Hasn't gone deep enough to really gleam a lot. So Soulcast is in the mix and he might just go down here, making a lot of noise. Hoodie alerted to his position, able to take him down. Meadow follows up and just like that, it's Lincoln Navarro left in a situation they know they just can't win. And they're back in a way, they're saving this one and G2 bite back with weaker guns. Says a lot, right? The dedication. There was not much for G2 to work with. Oh. And that methodical in these approaches. Here comes the Hunter's Fury for Nukia, just trying to create that space as he now realizes G2's time is limited. Link has got himself in a nice little cheesy angle, but that Nano Swarm has stopped him from moving out to the left side. Instead, he drops back to the right and denies the plant. 15 seconds now for G2. They cross again. It's again Link. He will be their problem. He will be their demise. And it's all onto Meadow. The clutch is needed. Five seconds left. Time limited. Has to commit to the plant, and he knows they're hunting him down. Team Liquid will get their second. Shots are coming into that area, and Evova's even scaled up quite aggressively. Scream doesn't expect this. Well, Scream, the wall comes up. That's going to give away their plans. But he's on the other side of the wall. On the right side, as Scream has to try and get into a position where you can actually see his opponents right now are currently cancelled out, and certainly will be by Nukia. Evova and G2 getting aggressive, taking Snowman control. They're deep in this one, G2. The Team Liquid, there is no pathway back here. Dash is forward to his demise as now G2 continue to move Ooh, forward. Meadow just over the top of the Hunter's Fury, and that's going to catch Yampi at the back of the site. Nukia, good for one as well, onto Link. And G2, up a player into the site. Team Liquid once again have to retake. The kill from Soulcast, that at least brings the numbers down, Ryan. Yeah, it's so explosive from G2, but it's still doable for Liquid. Eldron is still available. Soulcast didn't have a gun before, but now he's managed to pick up Shotgun. Phantom. All of Liquid are lit though, and it's an open plant again. Yeah, Hoodie, he catches the timing, looks for the piece. Soulcast close to taking the kill, but just couldn't quite amount all of the damage needed. Navera now into the clutch. And the problem is, he's got very different positions to have to clear here. He knows where Hoodie is. Now he has to find Mixwall. He wasn't too far off taking him down. Mixwall peers from above. Will he fall for it? Tucked in the right. Navera holding the defuse. He's got it over half. Mixwall just about gets the other side, so spams in the right spot, but. Unfortunately, it won't penetrate. Hoodie, luckily, it's good enough to take down Navarro. Ooh. That one certainly will penetrate. Link right through the Viper's pit, connects the headshot. 3v3 here, Avova. 
sneakily, stepping G2 in the right direction. The Team Liquid have now got a Phantom. You can back away with that one, Link, if you want. They're still trying to push forward into this, but with G2 set up inside of this pit, very hard to get into this one. Diving down, Sawcast catches the perfect timing. Link finds the follow-up, and now Sudden Wish just Meadow left. Meadow's got one, the time's ticking, and Meadow at least pulls it through for G2. Back at this 3v3, G2 in the post plan. And for Team Liquid, a couple of rounds now coming close to these retakes. Rez online for Hoodie. But he's gone. Link with a headshot. Soulcast follows Meadow. up. Meadow now into the clutch again, and this time he will not be able to pull it off for G2. Team Liquid with a much needed third round. They've been watching back the VODs. He did yeah. this a lot yeah, the last time they played. He was finding a lot of space in the attacking side, but they have just countered him hard at the start of this pistol. He's teleported up twice. It's all about this central control for Liquid. That's one of their main win conditions if they can get it, but G2 are well aware. Able to shut this down. Scream at least brings it into a three versus four, but he's pretty lit. In a kitchen position, Hoodie's playing in close. Link Soulcast making their way onto the site, but they need a kill before they can plant. Yeah, makes well. Ooh, jumps around, Toxic Screen comes down, and Soulcast reveals his victim on the other side. Hoodie with a third. Now Link into the clutch himself. You call him the master of the clutch. We'll see if the master was at work today. He's found the head of Meadow. Where is his next victim? Searching for him. No one revealing an opportunity. Finally, Link in the open. But Avova to the headshot is quick. Moved Avova. Nevera holding for the peek out to the right side, and that could have been another opportunity. Drum goes forward. Confirms the position of G2's Nukia, and he will be removed by Link. Scream finds the follow up, and now it's just Meadow and Mixwell. A two versus four, and Team Liquid's force looks to be a miracle for them. We'll see if Meadow and Mixwell can wake them up from this dream and turn it into a nightmare. Mixwell goes down, and now just one left. It's Meadow. And he can't think about a clutch here. Surely not. Adapt, and that will cost him. Hoodie comes back. Nevera now down as well. And Team Liquid in a very difficult spot. A three versus five, and this was their opportunity. This was their lifeline, and they have to hold on to it. They have to white knuckle grip this life support system. Link pops everything that he can. The Viper's Pit being put up. Scream with another kill has removed Hoodie as Meadow begins to track around the backside. Scream thinks about this possibility, but Meadow goes through. The sound cue's enough. Finds the follow-up with Soulcast's position being revealed. It's just Link and Meadow has all three. Deep Fuse being stuck from Evova and G2. They break the hearts of Team Liquid yet. Everybody close to the A site. This is about to be a bloodbath. Team Liquid are hoping it's not theirs. Nukia. He's found the first kill, so G2 off to a flyer. Nukia follows up, and now it's all crumbling for Team Liquid. They need a hero, and while Link and Soulcast, they could be them. It's now Soulcast alone. One versus two. He's found the first headshot. Looks up, but Avova denies him his dream. They'll send the toxic screen up. They're just desperately trying to get towards this plan. Scream goes up again. Finds Mixwell this time for the Bladestorm, and Soulcast follows up. Scream is on a field day right now, and he's having great fun, just chopping them down with the knives. Nukia and Avova, two versus three. Still winnable here for G2. And the Fury Especially with using, that. Yeah, they're lining up too, so they need to be careful. Link's taken down. That toxic screen is going to be out of the fight for now. The two brothers. They're trying to group up. Yeah, brothers having to clutch it out against that old Heretics duo. Well, the synergy should be unmatched between them. It has been in the past. Scream already found the most important impact he could have. That defuse being stuck, he goes into it, misses Miss. it out. Defuse being stuck, G2's just sitting on it, and they pulled it through. What a nightmare way of... Off to good start in this pistol. Straight away in towards mid, it's a hole broken in that wall straight away. Maybe a fight even coming down from the mail room. It's Hoodie that's found the first. Team Liquid looking to charge back into Vera. The player that claims the life back, but again, it's the extension upon the initial kill for G2 that has put them into the 4v3. With that mid control, G2 could just put all of that focus onto B main, but Scream still finding some impact. Two versus three is available, but getting this plant down, look how quickly G2 are trying to wrap in. Might not even matter, okay. Scream, it's a good time for him to come online of Ova in a 1v2. He was the player fragging over in the last map, right? He was still delivering an impact, but Avova looks to break them down, Scream the time. He looks away, finally spots Avova. That's gonna draw both players to look at this angle, and now they're hunting. They've split into 1v1s, but Scream will take four. Pistol picked up for Team Liquid. They will not let G2 get off to the perfect. Now knowing that they can take us with a utility yampy, it's a wide peak okay. to try and take the engagement, and that's a tough little map to lose. Nobody's around him to trade. He's not really baiting any rotations, but Solkas getting that kill into heaven just might do that.
Yeah, but if you keep the numbers at a two versus three scenario over here, Team Liquid still favored with the numbers. Evova looks to hold it, chops down one. He's got a stimmies down. And we'll see if Brumi can get anything done with it. Nuke comes around the backside. Link now removed. Now Salt Cast and Scream. Left in a position where they're trying to recover this one for Team Liquid, but you look at the weapons they've got. Scream on a Sheriff. It's also been caught by Mixwell on his blind side. So just Salt Cast having you. This certainly will favor the G2 defensive over spots one and actually brings down a smoke in front of him. Scream trying to play over the wall, but a hole made in it, so it's no longer a walkway. In fact, it's not even an effective cover piece anymore either. Nukia's drop Yampi. It's getting worrying now for no. Team Liquid. They're just throwing bodies at the situation. It's not getting any better. Team Liquid crumbling as Scream tries to tap away, but it's just one stylish headshot before Mixwell triples up. Most available for Yampi. Now he's trying to execute oh. in, but... Soulcast, that's another first death, and that's with the showstopper. Mixwell has just had his number all game long. Yet again, brings down Soulcast. Mixwell repositions, pulls out the headhunter, tries to go for four. Unfortunately for him, he will not be able to capitalize on that chance. And it thrusts Link into the clutch. A 1v3 total for Link. He's already found that first, but this time it's a limiting factor. Position known of the defender spawn player. Nuke is spotted out as well. Link tries. This time it's a split. This time Hoodie's not looking. Eventually we get the information. The are coming in. Wall goes up to cover them off, and they have to try and split this site. 27 seconds left. Hoodie holding from Heaven Platform. And he's got a lineup. They come into him, and Hoodie has two. He can't quite get three. A Scream is able to get him done. And now Scream and Yampi pulling kills back and forth. The orbital strike not connecting. Yampi certainly will, though. And finally, it is Team Liquid with the advantage, and Yampi has arrived to the server. It's just Nukia thrust into the 1v3. They're not looking his way. They all line up, and Nuka, he has three. That is unbelievable. Nuka gets the chance, and Team Liquid, that is a nightmare. It's uh, teetering on a knife's edge right now between these two meadow. Sends his fault line forward. Yampi dodges and doesn't bite just down yet. Yampi goes up the rope. It's one for Yampi, can't follow up. Now we look to Mixwell. The impact he's been having in this matchup is unrivaled. Mixwell removes Soulcast. And now G2. Well, at least there's a res coming in for Team Liquid. And luckily, Soulcast does get back up to his feet. It's had a frustrating match here, Soulcast. Meadows turn. Link decides to sweep on by. His head removed. Link gets traded out one for one. Hoodie and Mixwell just so strong in a hole. Ten one seconds left. And Avova comes in from a bird. Caught by it. They go up in towards Heaven. Soulcast really trying to deliver some impact here. He needs to. Down below, spots the head of Meadow. Meadow will fall to Link, who gets a double. Quick kills here from Link. That gives Team Liquid a chance here on the site. It has to be a retake. And Nevera, he's gone aggressive, and he's gone too aggressive. Avova has punished him for his overzealous play. And now we have to look to G2. They've got the advantage into this. Is this going to be her? Oh, yeah. Optal strike used from Avova gets caught out, but Nuki on the high ground. It's all up to Link again. Yeah, Nuka. Left alone, 1v1. Link, you call him the master of the clutch, and certainly can be. Hasn't really had too many winnable situations, but this one, this one certainly is. Nuke has had a miracle go his way already. This time around, taps. Link chasing after him. Swings wide as Nuke and Link with a 4K. He finally steps. Now well, the show is going to come through with that execute. But he's hit with so much damage by the paint shell. Oh, he's so close to the kill, but unable to get it with a show stop. We're able to recover nonetheless and get one with a rifle. Meadow quick to reply. And even then, with that pick, it's not really done a whole lot here. We need more from Team Liquid. Navarro certainly stepped up to the mark of a headshot to Meadow. And now the brother is into the clutch again. This time, Scream hits the headshot. The numbers now even yet again on the player count. Hoodie begins his descend from heaven. He's peering over the site. They have to be in a tight position here, Team Liquid. They have to be close together. And they know that Mixwell will clear it methodically. Takes down one. Nevera tries to split them into the 1v1s. And he's so close. And he's got it. Team Liquid. They needed four at the half. This time. Yeah, the angle he's playing from actually allows him to avoid that fault line. And so now Scream can sit back and get the first pick of play. Now his teammates down on the site as well. They've done damage on the hoodie. He's so close to falling. Heals himself up. Scream further back towards defender spawn. Salt cast spots a flight nuke and will remove him from that sky as Meadow and Hoodie bounce back for G2. It's now there are cavalry arriving for Team Liquid. The rotation is quick and the spike is down. It's Evova and Meadow versus Link and Yampi. A 2v2 will ensue with 14 seconds left. Eventually, G2 will have to commit to that plant, and Yampi knows that. He's so close, but he can't deny. And so with a spike down, the chances of G2 winning this round now elevate. 
And Evova, he's got his teammate playing further back. In fact, he's got him wrapping all the way around. It's the big flank from Meadow. That means Evova has to buy time. He has to play as much time as possible. They swing out, they double peek, but Meadow, the secret from heaven, he takes down two from above. He has to be, oh, let's get his gun out here. They're pushing him. Find the chance that Molly will actually separate them and seven them off from the pack, but Hoodie still so good. Takes down Navarro, that's a crucially important kill. Now you have to look towards Yampi in the site. His teammate is out towards Defender Spawn, but he needs to do something. Yampi can't manage a single kill. And now Team Liquid, they're just down to three players. If you lose to a bonus like this, the money will be so good for G2. They'll be on 11 rounds. There needs to be some magic here for Team Liquid. Can Scream beat a Magician? Links down, Scream out as well, and Liquid just topple easily to the hand of G2. Here comes that Rolling Thunder to clear out Heaven. Forces Team Liquid back and creates an opening now for G2 to attack. Brain through the smoke, showstopper now gonna come in actually to try and flank oh. in behind, but it still doesn't seem to connect. Soulcast's luck has been out of it, and Link yeah. holding onto the judge could be the last hope. Well, Meadow has found Link, it's just screaming Navarro, trying to keep their team in this one. VCT looks to come to an end. It's just one player for Navarro to keep Team Liquid in this one. He walks, but to his demise, G2, truly a one step away. Navarro will take down Evova. They're throwing everything they've got at him, and Mixwell will close it. Hard work, sacrifice, and an insatiable desire for victory. G2 will head to Iceland. Reykjavik will beckon for them.